The toolbar in the conditional coating pane has been updated to match the style of other panes. The single coating and mass coating buttons are now available side by side. Use the buttons to toggle between single and mass coating. In the related pane, you can now add, remove, and replace attachments. Click the Options menu next to a document and then select one of three options. To add one or more attachments all at once, click Add. In the dialog box, search for Documents and select one or more documents. Review and revise as needed and click Save. The documents are now attached to their new source. Remove an attachment. Select Remove Attachment from the Options menu next to the document to be removed. A new Replace option allows you to swap one document for another. This lets you change the source for multiple documents with one action. In the dialog box, search for and select the new source document. The source document has been replaced. In the related pane, the interface for connecting documents to other entities has been updated. Click Related Entities to switch from displaying related documents to displaying related entity items. In this example, we created a finding entity that we can link documents to as we learn more about the case material. Click Connect Existing Finding Item. In the dialog box, search for finding items using the fields you have set up to track findings. Select one or more items, review and revise as needed, and click Save. The two finding items are now linked to this document. What's new for administrators? Under Security, you can allow groups to manage sources and attachments in the related pane. Enable Edit Access to the Source Attachments field on the Security, Objects, Document Fields page. Under Review Setup, you can configure how assignments are named when documents are added to a phase. The default value on the Assignment Name menu is now Short Phase Name, Short Lot Name, and ID. Other options available are Short Phase Name and ID, Long Phase Name and ID, and ID only. Updates to the assignment name setting on a phase only affect assignments created after the update. Under Imports, errors that appear on the Imports Errors page are now organized by categories that reflect error types. This column also appears in the spreadsheet when you download a report, allowing you to filter and work through resolving errors. The Imports Source Files page for MDB load files includes a new option to copy all folders under a specific directory. Select the Copy All Folders under the Selected Folder option, and then select a folder from the list that appears on the page. This option enables files and folders not referenced in the Pages table, or named docid.extension, to be copied as well. Ingestions now uses the most recent version of the NIST list, released in September 2018. A new system field called All Evidence IDs has been created. The settings for this field mirror those for the All Custodian field. If a field with the name All Evidence IDs already exists, the existing field is renamed All Evidence IDs Legacy. On the Production's Rules page, if you select the Omit Text File if Document is Redacted option, Ringtail alerts you to the relevant files. A warning message displays on the Production History page if one or more TXT files is missing for redacted documents in the production. Under File Repositories, use the Download Files button to download zip files from the Archive File Repository. Optionally, you can select Use Aspera for faster data transfer. To calculate the total number of files and file size in the download, click View Files Count. When you click OK, a processing window opens and files are downloaded individually to your downloads directory. Keep the processing window open until Ringtail downloads all the zip files. 
Thank you for watching. See you next month.